Technologies. What are they for? People have been designing and creating technologies for generations. Over time, these technologies have been used to find and solve problems that people face all over the world. For example, how to source, gather and prepare food, create shelter and protection from the elements, or simply for human connection, belonging and communication. A desire to confront problems and find solutions is what drives people to create and use technologies. Finding ways to make life easier, more convenient or improve living standards for everyone in the community are what technologies are all about. Learning about technologies helps us to understand how the things we use every day actually work, how they were imagined, created, improved and delivered to others. Technologies in the Australian curriculum are divided into two distinct but connected subjects. They are design and technologies and digital technologies. Both of these subjects have two interwoven strands, knowledge and understanding and processes and production skills. Central to both subjects are the ideas that we can influence the future in positive ways through the processes required to manage a project from start to finish. Let us consider design and technologies. Design and technologies are not just about making things that are appealing or even functional. Design and technologies are a way of understanding the physical and virtual worlds in which we live. They teach us how we can create products, services or environments that build on human experience to meet current and future needs in sustainable ways. Design and technologies in the Australian curriculum asks students to see technologies through the lenses of four different contexts. Engineering principles and systems, food and fibre production, food specialisations and materials and technologies. The two interwoven strands of the design and technologies curriculum are knowledge and understanding which involves these four contexts as well as understanding the role that technologies play in society and processes and production skills which require students to design and create solutions to existing or new and emerging problems. So with this in mind, let's think about a student in a South Australian school. Let's call him George. George has been learning to solve problems from birth. How does this block fit? What colour is that? How does this toy work? How is that made? Yum! Why does that taste good? How might George's teacher build on this so that he develops a deep understanding of design and technologies? How does the teacher help George become a person who thinks like a designer? Someone who uses digital and design technologies to look at natural and constructed worlds to develop creative solutions to local and global problems. We are not so interested in whether George can make something from scratch or follow a predetermined set of instructions. We want George's teacher to engage him in design thinking and project management in order to systematically solve problems and create solutions. So, how do designers view the world? How do they identify problems and seek to improve on existing solutions or create new ones? How do they make ethical decisions about function and form. We want George to take design concepts into his everyday life and understand how to manage time and resources within a budget to find solutions to problems he will encounter at home and at work. Solutions that can make life easier or more convenient for people in his immediate or global communities. We want George's teacher to take his questions and help him explore answers. How does this toy work? What makes it go? What is it made of? Who else has this toy? Who designed it? How did this toy work in the past? How could it work in the future? Who plays with this toy? Why? Can I make a toy that moves? What materials will I need? We want George to understand how the decisions we make about materials and technologies, for example, impact on people now and into the future. We want George to think about how technologies can be used to create a future in which George would prefer to live. If George is interested in cooking, we want him to consider all the elements. The purpose, why, 
What's the occasion? Who will be eating this meal? How many people? Which ingredients are healthy, affordable and ethical? Can I innovate on this recipe and make it better? What techniques will I need to learn? Who can help me? When will I need to have this meal ready? Whatever projects George engages with, they need to be managed so that George can consider everything from his first ideas to the final result, through to the ways in which a product, service or environment could be enjoyed by others. When we catch up with George a few years later, we can see that he is using his deep knowledge of design and technologies not only to think about how he could design better ways of doing things, but how to share that information in ways that help and support others. He has developed his design thinking and applied it in innovative ways. George knows the importance of collaborating on projects in order to share expertise and also the importance of a detailed plan to manage time, resources and people. He also needs to have considered the lifespan of the solutions he's devised. Will they stand the test of time? How will they change the world for the better? By interweaving knowledge and understanding with processes and production skills, we can see that whatever George creates, he will have considered real-world solutions from many perspectives so that he can become involved with continuously improving and modifying his ideas in a cycle of investigating, generating, producing and evaluating for a variety of authentic purposes.